Tonight, NBC5 investigates heroin use among high school students in Illinois. It remains a growing problem, part of an epidemic that encompasses the entire state of Illinois. That's part of the initial finding of a legislative task force studying heroin use among young adults. Our political editor, Carol Marine, joins us now with the latest on Illinois' heroin epidemic. Carol? Allison, according to a draft of that report, Illinois kids as young as those in the eighth grade report having tried heroin. The supply is plentiful and the call to action is urgent. Nowhere is that call heard more clearly than in the town of Naperville. On July 17th at this Naperville apartment complex, seven people were arrested following a four-month investigation. They were charged with selling drugs, including heroin. By and large, the heroin in Naperville, authorities say, comes from Mexico and is 100 percent pure, which means not only a faster high, but also a quicker addiction. From large cities to rural landscapes to communities like Naperville, Heroin use has reached epidemic levels in Illinois. But now, police and residents in Naperville say a partial answer to curbing the scourge of heroin can be found in this paper bag. An explanation in a moment. But first, a drive through this community shows fine homes and well-manicured lawns, an idyllic image shattered in 2011. Heroin came into our sphere of influence like a thief. First came the spike in overdose deaths, followed by a 2012 film by two Nequa Valley students on the heroin epidemic in their own high school. You can get a bag of heroin for like 15 bucks. Next came a call to action by groups like Kids Matter. Kids' lives we found were just out of balance. Experts cite three key stressors for teens that can lead to drug addiction, something especially true in communities like Naperville. First, competition in academics, in athletics, and for material things. Next, over-involvement in activities. And finally, perfectionism as opposed to personal best. We found those stressors were actually leading to things like drug and alcohol abuse depression, anxiety, thoughts of suicide. What fueled the drug dependence was often found inside a family's medicine cabinet. And that's where the brown paper bag comes in. That's 17 pounds. It contains 17 pounds of legal prescription drugs. Acetaminophen with codeine. Voluntarily turned in by residents to this one box in just two weeks. We're trying to make it easy for residents to turn in these prescription drugs that end up hanging around the medicine cabinets. Removing a temptation that could turn into an addiction to drugs like heroin. What are some of the signs that a parent should look for if their kid's using drugs? I think the changes in behavior. Are they choosing different types of uh, friendships? Missing jewelry out of the jewelry box? Absolutely. You need money to purchase narcotics. Look at the kids' bank accounts. Be aggressive. Be assertive with your, your children. Ask questions, the police chief said, because a life may depend on it, no matter where you live. There is no Naperville bubble. There is none. All of our kids are vulnerable. There's no limit in terms of race, ethnicity, income level. They are all vulnerable. All seven Naperville defendants have entered pleas of not guilty. State Representative Sam Yingling, who chairs the Young Adult Heroin Use Task Force, says encouraging more drug turn-in programs like the one we saw in Naperville is a key component in the battle against heroin addiction. Rob? 